The DVD footage was absolutely superb. There is still one thing emotionally this family need to overcome, and that's to get Katie and Daniel working on their relationship with Katie's dad, Sherman. How about if I suggested building that bridge this afternoon by a phone call? A baby step forward and have a nice phone call with him. And Katie, what can I tell her? Right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I can try it. I was stunned when Joe brought up talking to Katie's dad on the phone today. I didn't expect it. I think that's this is a big challenge for me. I'm gonna call your dad, and we'll talk to your dad. Okay. See how it goes. You're okay with that? I just got this knot in my stomach because I knew it was something I needed to do. You know why we're doing this? Because you know what? It's it, it's about time. Isn't it? Let's face it. It's about just really being able to, you know, touch base with your dad, you know, to speak to your father-in-law and to, and to clean the air and, and to start afresh. It was time for Katie to let go. Let go of all that bitterness because Katie's dad had made a choice to leave the family. And if Daniel loves her, then he needs to accept his father-in-law, regardless of his sexuality. Hi, is that Sherman? Yes. Hi, Sherman. It's Joe Frost. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm here with Katie and with Daniel. Hey. Hey, hey Dad. I would love just to hear a little bit of how you felt personally with the decision that you made. Oh, boy. <laughs> I went through just anguish that was unbelievable. I had for years fought it and fought it, and I got married, thought that would end it. Got really involved in church, I thought that might help, and actually it, it, nothing had helped, and I still had those feelings, and it came to a point in my life where I knew I had to make that decision, and once it was over with, for me, and I'd gone through it, it was like, the, the weight of the world had been lifted off my shoulders when I you know, finally had come out to everybody. Phone call made me understand where he was coming from with what he was going through. You know, it's a step in the right direction. Does your sexuality define who you are as a father? No. Does it change how you feel for your daughter and the love that you have for her? Absolutely not. I love them more than anything that my sexuality has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. Your relationship with Daniel has been one that's had its shares of ups and downs, right? We could honestly say. Yes. So, I mean, Daniel, hey, this is your dad-in-law here, your father-in-law on the phone. Hey, Sharon. How you doing, mate? I'm all right. Um, you know, through talking with, with Joe, with Katie, and all the issues have been brought up, the main thing that was brought to my attention was that I, uh, partly to blame for keeping your guys' relationship um, on rocky terms, and uh, I just want you to know that whatever it takes for you and Katie to have a better relationship, I'm willing to do it, to help you guys out, and help us all out. There's nothing I want more than a, a relationship with you, Daniel. I respect you um, tremendously as a father and a husband because I've been there and seen you um, work with the kids and jump in there with Katie. I'm just proud to have you as a son-in-law and be emotional, but uh, I think you're a heck of a guy and a great father and nothing I like better to be, have a good relationship with you, bud. Yeah, me too. Thank All you, right. Dad. It was just nice to be able to hear how much he is proud of Daniel and cares for him, and I think that probably touched Daniel too. In order for a relationship to grow, for you guys, Daniel, Sherman, to spend quality time together, it takes time. Absolutely. Marvelous. All right, Dad. Love you. Hey, I love you too. Bye-bye. I think this is really the beginning of building a great relationship. He deserves it. You know, no matter what's happened in the past, he still deserves to be able to be a grandfather. Give me a hug. Thank you. Mwah. Okay.
very permeable. Thank you. Yes. Thank it's you. Very nice. I'm glad we're all together because it is time for Jojo to leave now. Can I get like a big group hug? Uh oh. Can I get a big hug? Thanks, Jojo. Thanks, Jay. You've helped us a lot. Good to have you, Jojo. Now that Joe has come into our family, I feel like we are in a completely different place. I think we have more peace within our home. I see a change in every child. Okay, okay the family, huh? Um, after having Joe come to the house, I, I think our family's a lot better off. It's a lot calmer. I definitely think we're a happier family. Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Take care! The Prescott family were unhappy. Their hearts were heavy. Their children were sad. And with good communication, open minds, open hearts, we have seven children who are much happier. Parents who are communicating with one another and a grandfather who's gonna to get to see his kids. That's priceless. I just feel like so many weights have been lifted off of me. It's put me in such a peaceful place inside. I don't. I don't have any food right now. The main reason I started this whole thing was because Katie needed it. And along the way, I found some things, a lot of stuff for myself, too. I wasn't expecting to, but I did. Sting you, huh? Yeah. I want one with Stan. With I'm no longer having these thoughts running through my mind at the end of the day of all the things that I haven't accomplished. I go to bed with this sense of pride in, in what I've accomplished with my kids that day and um, it gives me a great hope for the future. So what happens when we run out of grace? <laughs> it comes in for I see my family changing since Jim has got here. Yeah, throw, throw whatever. I don't know what they're going to eat. But... Talking about my dad and resolving that with Daniel was like somebody just literally lifting a weight off of me. I feel like there's hope now. Marley, if you don't start eating when it hits the plate, I'm not gonna pity you. I'm not gonna sit here and cut cheese all day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you stuck in the chimney. <laughs> 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 